Hi again, uh, this is Dr. Faisal Safi. Uh, here we are uh, in the second part of uh, the application of the diet, the rectification basically. And uh, in this segment of the experiment, we'll talk about what? About the full wave rectifier, which is schematically uh, you know, explained in this, in this figure. This is a source, our source. Uh, our source is about five volt, uh, uh, peak to peak and uh, 100 hertz and then connected to this rectifier that we call the bridge rectifier okay which is one of the types of the full wave rectifiers okay that we studied in the course the other type i let it uh, you guess it okay and of course the bridge is this nice resistor okay across which we are taking our output okay good so now that we go to the circuit. This is the circuit. Okay, let's go and uh, you know let's uh, do some uh, some fancy stuff. So this is the input coming here. Okay, good. And these are the the two diodes. See how do we know them? Very simple and very easy because we uh, we know now by now the cathode and the anode. Huh? So we can see that. Huh? If you zoom a bit, try to focus. Hopefully we'll focus. Huh? Very good. Now you can see. This, this band, huh? this band, that shows the cathode, right? So that's the cathode, and that's the other cathode on the other side of the diode. This is where the input is, okay? Okay, which is, which is what? Which is these, these are the two diodes we are talking about, D1 and D2. Okay, good. Now back to the circuit. What is that circuit? Okay, good. Now, these are the other two diodes. You see the cathode here, and the cathode there, and the... I'll put on the uh, the other side of the uh, uh, of this bridge is is in here, okay? All right, and these are the two diodes, which are D uh, D three and D four. Good. All right, good. And then let's zoom out a bit. So this is the bridge. Where's the bridge? Here. This is the bridge. And across that bridge, these two, you have this resistor. Uh, it doesn't matter its value. We have its value, okay? And from here we get basically the output huh, that you follow with me here. Ta-da! And this is the output. We'll discuss now next how this full wave rectifier, okay? Uh, for technical issues that uh, I don't want to uh, bother you with, okay? We cannot connect both the input voltage source with the output voltage, okay? So let me show you now the input voltage so let's disconnect this okay take it out and put the input source okay let's see uh-huh very nice so this is the one okay let me zoom a bit so this is the input voltage okay is five peak to peak you can see that thanks to this oscilloscope okay and it's have both the negative cycle and the positive cycle okay this is the input okay which is connected, trust me, let's follow that. To this input. And that is connected to the bridge in those two points here and there. Good. Having said that, now let's look at the output voltage. So we have both cycles here. Okay, just to remember. Huh? Let's take the output and put... Uh, the input, sorry. Let's put the output voltage. Good. Now this is the output. As you can see, you can hear, you can appreciate here we have two cycles in the output as well. Okay, these are the two cycles for both cycles of the of the input. So here, for one cycle of the input that was here, huh, we have both cycles at the output. And that's why we call it full wave rectifier because it rectifies the negative cycle of the input as well as the input. And both of them now in the output. The output has only one sign, which is positive in this case. Now, let's zoom a bit and see, okay? Remember that the input voltage was 5 peak to peak, yes or no? That means the amplitude is about how much? 2.5, excellent. But here, they, I mean, the input was, amplitude was 2.5 peak. Yes or no? Good. So, but the output here, 
has a peak of how much? Let's see. Hmm. Can we measure that? Should be able. Ah, okay. The output here, you can see the peak to peak is about 1.6. Actually, this is almost the ground here. It means that it's off. Okay, so it's not ideal diode. Huh? When this was explained in the class, it has to be off over some range, and we know why. Huh? Because the input voltage is below uh, the barrier, which is that's also in the class, uh, which is basically two VDs. Okay, in any case, so now here, now what you see here is that the output amplitude is about 1.6. So if you subtract 1.6 uh, from 2.5 of the input, the difference is going to be how much? Hmm, so 0.9. Okay, so 0.9 volt is actually equal to two VDDs which have been lost in the bridge. Remember that in the course? Good. So now, because we lost 0.9 for two VDDs, that means one VD is about 0.45. And if you remember the half-wave rectifier, we have seen that VD, or the barrier voltage, was about 0.44 volts. So two VDDs is about 0.88 or 0.9, which is the difference between the peak voltage of the input minus this peak of the voltage of the output. So yes, the theory now meets the experiment, okay? And we have a full-fetched, uh, full-wave rectifier, exper experimentally proven, okay? I hope you enjoyed the experiment and uh, wish you all the best. Have fun, bye-bye.